Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. And somebody asked me that they're trying to do a seamless pattern from one of my other videos with text. And when they do back minus front or front minus back, it works, but it leaves it in a hairline. And I've tried a couple different ways. One way you can do it, and I don't like using, so I've got my nudge factor set on 10. I'm going to group these together, control G. And then I'm going to move my frame back. And I'm going to click on my words and I'm going to go to object and power clip, place inside frame. And then it works. But I don't like power clip because sometimes it doesn't uh, leave some stuff outside the box. So what you could do in this, and you can see this is still a text. This is Arial. I'm just going to move my box out of the way. I'm going to grab all these, and I'm going to convert them to a curve. Then I can move my box back. Now, this is going to take a little bit of time, but you would be assured that it would work. And it, uh, sometimes power clipping leaves some residue uh, remnants. And it's going to take just a little bit of time to do this. And, but it, uh, in the long run, it's a lot safer and now it's not quite as easy and nice as some other patterns that we've done or I've done over the recent couple of weeks and, but it works. So then you just take your box away, hit delete and my nudge factor still set on 10. So I'm going to control D and make a duplicate. And then you have a seamless pattern of text and you could go with it forever. This would be a pretty cool design if you change your different fonts, you know, from one pattern to another. Um, anyway, I hope that answered their question and thank you for watching.